Hello, hello. How are you? Hey, Carlos, how are you? Sí, as tú. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, good night. Hello, good night. Good evening. Hi. Uh, how do you feel? Do you feel much better? Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy that we have you here. Yeah. Your wife told us yesterday that Thank you felt you. sick, but it's cool to have you back. Uh, thank you, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have here, oh my goodness, I have a lot of people here. We do have Alexandra, Mr. Carlos. Okay, Carlos, I'm going to change your name because you appear like um, Galaxy Phi A51. So I'm going to put Carlos. Let me change right it. Right now. Yes, yeah, right now. I'm, I'm changing it right now. I'm changing it already. I have the power. <laughs> All right, you're very good. Okay, I do have Mr. Wilfred out here. Elizabeth, Edna Nilsson, Ricardo Ticas. I have Mr. Herman Ramos, and Linda Xiomara. Hello, Rachel. Oh, Marlon. Okay, I was about to ask, where is Marlon, by the way? But he is here. There you go. Okay, that's nice. Hi, good evening. Good evening. It's been a pleasure to have you here, guys. How's your day going so far? So far, is it good? Yes? It was a good day. It yeah. was a good day. Okay. Yeah. So you know that you're already an advanced level, right? Like intermediate number three. So basically, every day, I'm going to ask you about your day. Why? because we need to uh, refresh a little bit the simple past. Mm -hmm. It's really important that you never forget that. And also that the only way that you will never forget it and also try to memorize or remember the verbs, doesn't matter regular or irregular, is practicing. That's the only way. Okay, so that's why I'm going to ask you. And don't worry if you made a mistake or if you do not uh, remember a word, that's okay. That's part of the process, okay? But I want, because remember, guys, Latin America people, we are really energetic, but we are, we are really a, a person that likes to talk a lot, right? Latin American people, yes. And we mix the bird tenses. We'll start talking about present, then we move back to the past, and then we move forward to the future, okay? But in English, no. If you're speaking present, stay in the present tense. If you're uh, talking about past, stay in the past. In the future, stay in the future. Don't mix up, okay? Exactly, okay, so volunteer, big thing, sorry, volunteer. Uh, Georgie, hi, Georgie. Thank you so much for participating. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Okay, Georgie, how was your day? Tell me, what did you do today? I had a good day. Really? Okay, that's amazing. Yes. What happened? Tell us. Uh, I I wake up. You wake up or you uh, woke up? I woke up, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, uh, late. I know. At what time? At nine o'clock. That's not possible. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, okay. So, I so that means that, that Carlos made the the, the breakfast, right? And Carlos uh, went when mm. se fue va. Yeah. Yes. When at six thirty a.m. Oh. She, oh. Okay. She left from home. He left from home. Yes. At yes. 6 30 a.m. Oh, okay. So he had his breakfast alone. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and, and I had a good day. I I help my my girls with homework. Okay. And did you I play with your children? Watched, I watched a movie. Oh, you watched a movie. Excellent. What's the name of the movie? Lady Bird. Lady Bird. Oh, really? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. And now you are in English class. 
Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Excellent job. Now, let's ask the other half of Georgie, Mr. Carlos. I know that you want to participate. I know that. So tell us about your day now that you left home from 6 to 30 a.m. in the morning. What happened? What did you do? Uh, good, good. Um, really, today is normally only okay. work, only work, and I wake up. You wake up or you woke up? I wake up. Woke up. Wake up. Ah, wake yes, up. Wake up. And, uh, at five, five o'clock. Ooh, and I'm glad prepare, I Yeah. And prepare my breakfast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, hey, and what? Then, you prepare uh, your breakfast? Oh my God. Did you cook? Ooh. Uh oh, excuse me. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, breakfast, dinner. Okay. <laughs> Tell me, uh, what, did, what did you have for breakfast? We want to know what is like a karate trainer, the, uh, the normal meal that he prepares every day. Uh, for today, no, is my food normally mm -hmm. uh, because I prepare uh, two Sony eggs mm -hmm. and beans, uh, tortillas mm -hmm. and coffee. And coffee, yes, yeah. coffee, yes. Yes, it's delicious. <laughs> I know, I love it too. <laughs> and and uh, all day work, ah, uh, at noon, I play soccer. That's good. And, uh, 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 the rest? <laughs> the rest is only work. <laughs> okay, but that's good. That was nice, excellent. That you know what? Fun. All the time, I think you two wears the same color, t shirt color, right? Black and black. That's great. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Oh, uh, who else? Francisco Edgardo. Hi, Tito. Hi, how are you, sir? Ah, uh, fine, thank you. It's, That's uh... nice. And my day is a very funny. Funny. So, what happened to you? Um, it's a very, very funny and very hard. Oh, because, okay. Uh, I I work it almost uh, thirteen hours. Wow. <laughs> I work it um five a.m. From five a.m. in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Oof. Until right now? Yeah. Wow. Uh, you cannot imagine uh, Carlos' face like, oh my God, poor Elgardo. Yeah. And I had a problem with my my homework. Uh, Excuse, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you say, yeah, yeah. he's sincere. Yes, he's excuse. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, I uh, forgive you. Yes. But, but you've got to send it to me uh, through the WhatsApp, okay? Because I need to double check okay. that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, no, the teacher is tough. You're going to do it no matter what, okay? Uh -huh. Oh, but that's okay, Francisco. I'm so happy that you're here, even though it was a really hard day for you. I'm happy to see okay. you all the time. I'm so happy. So that's why I'm going to ask um, this interesting man that I love his teacher, Mr. Ricardo Ticas. How are you, sir? How's your day going so far? Fine. Fine, very, very, very well all day. Really? Um, well, yeah, yes. All day. I woke up at you 5 wake, uh, You woke up at 5 also? Woke, oh, like Carlos, yeah. wow. Every day, every day. Every day I, I woke up at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a, a, a daily routine. Your daily routine, okay. What uh, else did you do? Uh, uh, about <laughs> uh, to, to wearing... I wearing my uniform of the enterprise. 
Really? Um, and, and then took, I took my breath at six. Six, six, six a.m. in the morning. Wow. Did you cook? When I count. Ah, okay. When I can. <laughs> when I can. Uh, and then I, I took my, my, my transportation. Okay. Oh, oh, that my job and in my job uh, is start the the activities at eight, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, okay. The schedule of the is the schedule of, of my work. Okay, is your is your um, schedule okay? Okay, it's a normal like, schedule. Um, the rest of the day mm -hmm. is working. Mm -hmm. I work in. Uh, uh, normally, <laughs> normally, uh, yes. uh, and then uh, at the final of the schedule. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. Again, again, I I took the uh, I took the the transportation. We 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 try. Mm -hmm. we must try. Uh, how can I say? Nos trae, nos trae. Brings us. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Brings up home. Brings up back home. Um, I'm back home at uh, six. Six, six p.m. Okay. Six thirty two p.m. And there, the, I took the protocol of the hygienic. Hygienic protocol, yeah. Yeah, and um, where in. in and I wait in, I wait in the English class. Yay, hey, that's nice. I know. Okay, I want to see you. You want to see me? That's amazing. Yay! And I'm so happy to see you. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing. What did you do today? And last but not okay. least, um, Mr. Miss Linda Xiomara. How are you, girl? Fine. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, it's nice to see you again. How is your day? What did you do? Um, Not much. I, I wake up at you woke 8 a.m. You woke up at 8, okay. That's good. I woke up at 8 a.m. I prepare my breakfast. You prepared your breakfast, okay. I prepared my breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then I read a book. You read a book. I read a book. <laughs> And prepared my lunch and uh -huh. dinner. Okay. So, oh, you cooked. You cooked your lunch and dinner. Yes. And I watched TV. You watched TV. Oh, yes. that's great. Amazing. Excellent. All the day in my house. You stayed at home. Yes, I stay home. Very good. Okay. Did I send you guys like uh, information about verbs? No, no, no. I didn't, right? Okay, very good. I will try to send it to you just for you to refresh it, regular and irregular birth, because it's really important. Mm -hmm. So you will have, you increase your vocabulary, and like Linda did today, she uses a different one. She uses regulars and irregular ones, okay? Okay. And also we'll send it to you like a video that will help you with the pronunciation of the verbs. Because uh, even though, the, for example, the regular verbs, the terminations are in ED, in past. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. ED. That's ED, cool. exactly. Okay. But the pronunciation is in three different categories. Not all of them pronounce it the same way. So I'm going, I'm, yes. So I'm going to send it to you just for you to practice and helps you, okay? It's like a auto examination or auto study, okay? I will send you extra information. Yes, because it's really important. So every day, guys, I'm going to ask you the same information. What did you do? And I, and I expect that you uh, just take five minutes because those videos are no, um, not too long. And I want you to, every time that you explain something, add a new verb, a new verb that you learned. For example, so when you're explaining something, you will not use... I prepared, and I prepared, and I prepared. No, you can say, I prepared my lunch, and I cooked the dinner. Yeah? Yeah? Exactly. So that's that's what I want, okay? 
like to like get used to it and more fluently. Okay, that's what I want. Okay. So I will help you. Okay, I will help you, and I want you to practice as well. I hope. But but very good, very good. I'm so happy because all of you have expressed yourself very good in a good way. Okay. Yes, with the with the vocabulary that you know, and that's really good. Use the words that you know. Okay. Just and everything is going to be all right. Very good, excellent. I'm so proud of you. I'm happy. You see, I'm happy. I'm going to give you a claps. I'm going to give you a all right. I will give you a hard. And I will give you a woohoo. Yes, excellent. All righty, excellent job. Very good. You know what? I'm going to ask you something. So what? Uh, Yes, to because we're practicing the simple past, right? Remember? Okay, yes. so this is what I want you to do for tomorrow. We're going to continue with the topic for today's class, but um, tomorrow I want you to do me a favor. I want you to write a biography, a little one, just one paragraph. You can choose um, an actor, an actress, uh, a singer, a uh, movie theater, a uh, football player, whatever. That's okay. Doesn't matter. But you're going to tell that information like if he, in the past. And we are going to guess who you are talking about. For example, let me give you an example. Um, it was, he started his music career uh, in a very early age. When he was a child and until the teenager age, he sung with his brothers. They used to have a group called Jackson Five, for example, you see, you see. And um, well, after after his teenager age, he started building his own career as a single, yeah, as a single musician, yeah. His most popular songs, Thriller, Billie Jean, and so on. But unfortunately, he passed away in 2009 when he was 50 years old. Who am I talking about? Michael Jackson. Exactly, you see, but I said it everything in the past. Okay, so that's what I'm. What that's what I want you. I want that you do it for me. Okay, you're going to do exactly the same. It was a singer, for example, a, the most beautiful voice I have ever heard. It was a black girl. One of the most important songs was um, a soundtrack for Bodyguard movie, for example. You see, etc. Okay, so you're going to say everything in the past. Doesn't matter if that person is still alive, okay? Because Michael Jackson already passed away, and Whitney Houston as well. But you can talk about Ronaldo, for example, Messi, for example, right? But you need to put everything in the past, and the rest of your classmates needs to guess who you are talking about. Okay. That's true. That's what I want. Okay. We're going. We're going to put in practice okay. simple pass. Okay. Do you think it's hard? No, it's not hard. Okay. Only one paragraph. Do you understand? Yes. Excellent yes, job. Yeah, yes. that is going to be so much fun. Okay, excellent. Oh, are you ready to start a party? Yes or no? Come on. Are you ready to start the party, yeah. guys? Oh, come on. I want yeah. energy. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. All right. Like Carlos and Georgie, they have a lot of energy. Let's rock and roll today, okay? Woohoo. Okay, guys, tell me, what was the topic for uh, yesterday's class? Uh huh. Who can give me a brief explanation about what we have seen yesterday? Ah, come on. Thank you so the much. Conjugate. Yes, the conjugate. conjugate. Erica. Uh -huh. conjugate. 
the conjunctions. Very good job. Excellent. Yeah, the conjunctions. Do you remember what are the four conjunctions that we saw yesterday? Tau. Yeah. And, and that. And but. 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 However. Very good. All right. However. No, however, okay. <laughs> okay, however. exactly. No, however. No, however. <laughs> well, you can say however. that if you're from Louisiana, right? Yeah, well, however. All right, yeah. Like over with from the Bronx. However. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 but however, okay, it's fine. <laughs> All right. So, do you however. remember that, for example, if we want to use conjunctions, conjunction, we use it to unit two ideas right and to put it into one is that correct yes okay but tell me if i want to use the conjunction and can i use can i use it in unit one positive idea with one negative idea is that is that the, is that the right way to use it yes. or no that's right no. 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 Only positive. Exactly. Oh, yeah. If I want to use and, remember, it has to be positive with positive. positive. Negative oh, with right. negative. Oh. I cannot combine them. Okay? For example, yes. this, um, this restaurant is beautiful but expensive. Okay? No. It's beautiful and Elegant, uh -huh. right. and elegant, exactly. Can I have an example with and, uh, Marlon? Yeah, sure. Teacher. Okay. Um, this class is very helpful to learn English and very interesting. Well, I do really appreciate your comment. Thank you. It's right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Very good. Okay. And uh, Norberto. Hi, Norberto. There you Hello, go. Hello, teacher. Hello. I want you to give me a sentence using N, but with two negative ideas. Mm, I don't know. I, what? what happened? Um, mm, I don't know, teacher. Uh, uh, Are you sleepy? Uh, ye, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but what happened? Uh, do you understand my question? Yes, I am. Okay. So mm. I just want a simple, a simple sentence using and but with two negative ideas you can talk about anything okay i i i i don't sorry teacher okay oh you're you're lost okay let me give you an example and then i i want you to give me an example let me give you an example mm. No, I'm not going to give it to you. I'm going to ask another classmate to give you the example. Uh, Elizabeth. Erica, Elizabeth, can you please do me a favor? Say a sentence with two negative ideas using the conjunction and. Okay, teacher. Uh, Listen carefully, okay. Norberto. Okay. Uh, the weather is very bad and it's raining. Uh, here. Okay. Did you listen, uh, Norberto? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Now give me a give me an example. Simple example. Uh, uh, I don't like the uh, mm -hmm. pebs. Okay. And. Mm. What bad? No, bad, bad. No, and and uh, 
So, mm. it, it, it was a little bit hard, okay? Now, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't feel bad, okay? Don't feel bad. Don't worry. Okay. For example, let me give you an example. Um, Mm -hmm. So, so it's for you know what for me it's really hard to think in, in negative things because I'm a positive person. I I most of the time think in positive things that in negative things. But for example, you can say, um, uh, I don't like German language. Is very strong and hard. You see, that is negative. You see, Norberto? Yes, yes, I, teacher. And I love my husband, for example. He is patient and lovely. You see? <laughs> yes, I, I can say it in a positive way. You see? Mm -hmm. So, you see how, how we use it, Norberto? <laughs> okay, very good. Now, guys, with bat. Remember bat? Bat, we use it to contrast. Positive with negative or negative with positive? Elgardo, can you give me an example with that? Bat. Mm -hmm. Okay, bat and positive? Yes. And negative or... pa positive and negative or negative okay. and positive. Either or is fine. Okay. Uh, my house is uh, very small and mm -hmm. it's very funny. Very good. Excellent. Another example, Ricardo? Uh, let me try to... <laughs> sure, you can do it. Uh, um, the winter season is, 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 uh, is raining, but it's fresh. Very good. Okay. It's raining, but it's fresh. Okay, excellent. Luis Oliva. Hopefully, Luis is here. Oh, no, Maria Luisa is here. Okay, Maria Luisa, how are you? I'm fine. Fine, thank you. And you, teacher? Excellent. I'm so happy that Excellent. you're here as well. Give me an example using that. But um, the, the, Engli the English is uh, important, but for me, it's difficult. Okay, you see, <laughs> very good. Yeah, that, that's a good example. You see, Norberto? Yes. Positive and negative. Yes, I know. It's really important language, but yes, it's difficult sometimes, yes. Especially the pronunciation, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. It's difficult for me. Ma, don't worry, but you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> I know you can do it. You can do it if you focus on what you wanted to, and if you put an, an effort. And like I said, go okay. an extra mile. You know what going an extra mile is? That expression? It's an idiom yeah. that we do yes. have as well. Yes. That that what it means that like you do more than it was expecting you to do. Okay. Yeah, like you do it more. Okay. That is what it means, extra mile. Okay. Very good. Thank you. And do you remember about however, guys? Who can give me an example about however? Mm -hmm. Who me? Who's that me? Wilfredo. Yes. Okay, Wilfredo, go ahead, my man. Uh, I had a sentence. Uh, go ahead, you can do it. I would like to continue talking to you. I have a meeting in 10 minutes, however. Very good, excellent, not too bad. There you go. Yvette, do you have any other example for us? I cannot hear you. With, oh, with, with, with however. however. Yes, please. Um, or with dot as well. You can do it. Either or. So. I've attached the following document. I don't think it'll be use, useful, useful. Useful? However. Very however. good. Excellent job. Very good. We have practiced a little bit what we have seen, right? And remember that was a homework, right? For you. Mm -hmm. Excellent job. I'm so happy. Cesar, did you make your homework? He's like. <laughs> did Hello, you... teacher. Hello, did you do your homework, Cesar? <clears throat> yes. Okay, let's listen to you. You can do it, my man. Okay. Uh, my car is beautiful. 
is you can you can use uh, viejo, perdón. Old. 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 Okay. Okay. Very good. My car is beautiful, but old. Okay, that's nice. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Very good job. All righty. Thank you. Hey guys, do you remember what we're going to see today? What will be the today's topic? No? No, nobody went to the platform. Come on. <laughs> you are a busy man, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, Wilfredo. Save us, please I, save I, us. I, 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 I can't visit the platform today. Uh, you couldn't. You couldn't. Okay. You couldn't okay. visit the plan. Okay, hopefully you can, okay? Because you need to practice every exercise that we, uh, that we have uh, seen here in the class. So you can practice it and you can reinforce what we have seen, okay? Very good. Today, guys, we're going to talk about two model verbs. We have a lot of model verbs, but today we're going to focus into two model verbs. Can, it should. Okay? Can and should, exactly. Can means possibility. And also you can use can when you're requesting somebody to do something. For example, Wilfredo, can you turn the steady off? You see, can you turn the steady off? That means that you were like, with a lot of volume, right? It was yes, a bit noisy, and I can you turn? Can you turn the stereo off? I mean, can you turn yes. it down? Yes, yes I, I can. can. Mm -hmm. Okay, turn off. That is a what we call phrasal verbs, a verb that has two parts. Okay, the phrasal okay. verb, the verb, and okay. the particle. Okay, okay, very good. Can you? Okay, can you sing? Yes, I can. Can you open the door, please? Yes. Okay, we use can to ask for requests, but is we use can when we uh, want to make a request for somebody, guys, that we know, that we are familiar with, like friends, like family, like coworkers, like classmates, like you guys, okay? Because it's more informal, yes? I'm not going to say, hey, can you pass me that glass of water if it's the first time that I, that I have a touch with you, okay? It's the first time, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to use would instead, okay? But that is another topic, okay? Let's focus on can, okay? Do me a favor. This is going to be a, this is going to be a game, a game, a game, a game. Uh, I want you guys to tell me one thing that you can. Can is a possibility, okay? And also making a request. What is the po what is the negative way for can, guys? Cannot. Can't. Cannot. Can't. Or can't. Very good can't. job. Okay. Can't. Okay, so Wilfredo, let's start with you. Tell me one thing that you can do. Uh, quickly, quickly. This uh, can, we're working. We're playing. Uh, I, I can watch TV. I can watch TV. Ah, come on. <laughs> no, you're asking me or you're saying because if you're asking me, I say, can I watch TV? Okay. okay. But I want you to okay. let me know an ability, something that you can do, an ability. Uh, I can play basketball. Very good. Something that you can do, Elizabeth. Fast. I can play football. Very good. Alexander, something that you can do. I can run. 10 kilometers. Very good. Georgina, something that you can do. I can dance. You can dance. Woohoo! Very good. Okay, this is what I want you to do, but we're going to make it so much funny. Because Wilfredo will start again with something that he can do. Elizabeth will repeat what Wilfredo said, and she's going to say her ability. Okay? Alexandra will repeat what Wilfredo said, what Elizabeth said, and then she's going to say her ability. And Georgina will say Wilfredo's ability, Erica's ability, Alexandra's ability, and her ability. Okay? 
Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry who is going to be the last one, but you must have a good memory by heart. Okay? okay. Let okay. me start. I'm going to start because I want to play. All right? Okay. I can speak French. Now is your turn, Wilfredo. Sorry, I, I understand. Okay. I said I can speak French. So you're going to repeat what I had said. You can say, she or the teacher can speak French. I can play the piano, for example. Okay, you understand? Okay, okay go ahead. Uh, teacher, do you can speak French? No, you're not going to ask me. You have to say what I'm saying. I'm going to explain to you in Spanish. Quiero que repitan, yo voy a decir mi habilidad. Okay. Y después tú dices tu habilidad, pero repites lo que yo dije, ¿sí? Ajá. Y así va a ir cada uno, okay. cada uno, cada uno, cada uno, hasta terminar al último, ¿sí? Ok. Salió bien el español, yay, <laughs> Very good. Ok, let me start again. I, I can speak French. I can speak French. No, I can speak French. Tú no. I, I can't, I can't play basketball. Ajá, pero tienes que decir... The teacher can speak French. I can play basketball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Así tienes que decirlo. Otra vez. I can speak okay. French. The teacher can speak French. I can play basketball. Okay. Elizabeth, it's your turn. The teacher can speak French. Wilfredo can play basketball. And I can play football. Okay. Alexandra. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The teacher can speak French. Wilfredo can play basketball. Erica can play soccer. Mm -hmm. I can dance. Okay. Ooh, Georgina, it's your turn. <laughs> the teacher can speak French. French. Wilfredo can play basketball. Erika can play the soccer. Play soccer. Don't help her. Uh-huh. go frozen. Eh, time is over, Georgie. I can. <laughs> we, cannot, we cannot listen to you. You can hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Again, you start with me. The teacher can speak French. Uh -huh. Alfredo can play basketball. Okay. Erika can play soccer. Okay. Yvette can dance. Okay. And I can sing. Very good. Okay, Francisco Algardo. Oh my God! No, that's easy. That's easy. Come on. Okay, my memory is bad. Mm -hmm. Do your best. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> okay, now you start. Okay, let me see. The teacher um, speak French. Uh -uh, uh, you you forget the 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 can. Uh, the teacher can speak French. Uh, no. Uh huh. You see, you're up. That was a memory game. Ha ha. Yeah. Ah, okay. I will get. Hey, what can you do? Um. um I don't remember. <laughs> I, I don't remember. He doesn't know what he can do. Come on. Oh, okay. All right. That's nice, right? Okay. Okay. Normally, guys, the word can is used to uh, to express a possibility, right? I can sing. I can dance. I can play a guitar. I can speak this language, etc. But also can, we can use it to make a request. For example, we to ask somebody to do something. Yes? For example, can you pay attention, please, Edgardo? I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's just an example, Edgardo. 
<laughs> Can you open the window, please, Marlon? Okay. Can you close the door? All right. Okay. Let me show you something. I have to, I have prepared an information for you, and I want I want to show it to you. So let me just a couple of minutes. <laughs> there you go. I want to share this with you really quickly. Okay. Very good. Here we go. Yeah, it's really interesting. There you go. Let me just a couple of minutes. Okay, this is what I want. Okay, let me know as soon as you're able to see my screen. Okay, guys? Okay. Here you we'll go. Wait. All right. This is what I want. But I'm going to put it a little bit bigger, okay? Okay. Not this one. This is not what I want. I have a lot of things here. There you go. The mother verse can and should. Repeat after me, guys. Can. 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 Should. 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 Can. Should. Can. 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 Listen carefully to the second one. Should. 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 Can to make a request, guys. And should para poder aconsejar a alguien. Por ejemplo, I feel sick. You should go to the doctor. Yes? Para dar como un, como un advice. Advice. Exactly. Very good. What a model verse got? Model verse, we use it to show a speaker's attitude or mood. La actitud de alguien que está hablando o cómo se siente de que de humor okay okay how we can we uh, can we make a sentence a positive one a negative one and a question with can and could and should yes we can this is a formula wh question mother verb subject and verb and question mark marlon could you please be so kind to read for me that question That question. Yes. Hi, teacher. Hi. Could you repeat it, please? Could you please be so kind to read for me the question that appears here in the screen? Yeah, sure. Where Where should we go? Uh -uh. Where should we go? Exactly. Oh, Thank you so much. Good intonation. Where should we go? ¿A dónde vamos? Sí. Por ejemplo, si Marlon invita a quién? Mm, a Linda a salir. Un ejemplo. He said, Linda, where should we go? ¿Dónde deberíamos go? ir? Where should we go? That's an example, okay? Uh -huh. Okay. E e exactamente podemos hacer eso. How can we uh, formulate it into negative way? Well, positive way. Where? Positive. Where we can use subject, you see model verb, the verb itself, and the complement. Linda, can you please be so kind to read for me this positive sentence? Uh, we should go to a museum. We, we should go to a museum. Mm, museum. 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 Yes. Yeah. It, guys, do you remember the bees? Las abejitas? Bees? Right? Yeah. Everybody, everybody, quiero que hagan el sonido de las abejas. <laughs> All right. Okay. Museum. <laughs> Museum. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Museum. Museum. Excellent. Museum. Exactly. Museum. So now, Linda, can you say it again in the sentence, please? We should go to a museum. Excellent job. What about negative way? Okay, we have the subject, guys, the modal verb, the particular not, the verb, and the complement. Who can read it for me? Ricardo, can you please read for me that negative sentence? Uh, we we shouldn't we shouldn't uh, we should not prepare the recipe. No, 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 the one that I have here in the screen. On the screen. Yes, please. We, uh, negative sentences, subject plus model verb. Mm -hmm. Plus not, plus verb, plus complement. Mm -hmm. We should not go to a museum. 
Very good. We should not go to a museum. Museum. Okay. But also we can contract that, that should not. Is that correct? How we contract it? ¿Cómo lo contactamos? Should not. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Okay. Hoy dímelo, Ricardo, con la forma contractada, por favor. We shouldn't, we shouldn't go to a museum. Excellent job. Okay, very good. So you see, guys, how we use should to make us suggestions and to ask as well for suggestions. Okay? Easy, right? Easy, peasy, queasy, right? Oh, yes. Piece of cake. Uh-huh. So, guys, this is what we're going to do right now. Let's practice, okay? Let's practice should, okay? Should, okay. Um, Linda. Yes? You're going to tell us something about a situation. Maybe you're sick or you have a homework to do, whatever. Or maybe you don't have a good grace and you would like to be a better student. And... Some of your classmates will give you advice, okay? For example, uh, uh -huh. for example, let's pretend that I'm Linda. Uh, you know what, guys? Mm, I have one week that I feel bad from my stomach. And everything that I eat, I throw it away. What should I do? ¿Quién me da consejo? What should I do? You should go to you shall a visit a doctor. Okay, what else? Uh, you should uh, be healthy. You should be healthy, yes, another one. You, you, you should bring... Mm -hmm. What you else? You should study English. Yeah, really? Okay, <laughs> I feel bad, okay, I, oh yes, definitely, that makes me feel better, thank you, that's nice, okay, what else, what else? You should go to a hospital. Yeah, very good, now tell me some things that I shouldn't do, that I should not do, that I have to you avoid. Should, you shouldn't not to order medical. Okay, you should not take... Pres you should not prescribe yourself prescri medication. Okay, Carlos, you are a trainer. Something that I cannot do. I feel bad of my stomach. I have a stomach age. Oh, so what should I not do? <laughs> you shouldn't no drinking. Drink what? Uh, medicine. Oh. Take medicines, yes. But Ricardo already gave me that advice. He gave me another advice. <laughs> another advice. Mm -hmm. hey, I'm going to uh, make a question to you, Carlitos. Carlitos, I feel bad, bad of my stomach. Should I take a, a cup of coffee? Can I uh, take a cup of coffee? Uh, you should no. You shouldn't. Okay. Hey, guys, I, I love chili. I love spicy food. Can I, can I, yeah, I shouldn't, yeah. What else? What else I shouldn't do? Take, um, take, mm -hmm. take, no, take, 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 taking milk, taking oh. cup milk. Oh, milk. yeah, milk, because it's bad. Milk, milk, uh-huh. Should I skip one meal? You know what that means? Skip one meal? Saltarme una comida, should I skip one meal? No. No, no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. no it's, no, you it's shouldn't. bad. It's bad for my health. It's should bad. I eat should I eat fruit? Yeah. Yes. 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 All should. kind of fruit? fruit. All kind no. of fruit? No. No. Which fruits should I avoid? That is bad for me. Which ones? You should eat. How can I apple? say fibra? Okay. Apple. Mm-hmm. Um what else? Fruits that I cannot Apple. eat because I have bad of my stomach. Apples. I have a stomach uh, Apples. Orange. Orange. I should avoid orange. the acids, right? The citrix, right? What else? Pear. Pear? Yeah, I should eat pear. Very good. Watermelon. Peach. Watermelon. Okay. I should avoid it. Uh, peaches. 
Yes, I should avoid the watermelon because it's acid. That's what I, I, yeah, acid. That's what I'm mellow. Yeah, in pineapple. Mm -hmm. Very it good. Can eat. Okay, now do me a favor, uh, Marlon. Put an a scenario, an a scenario, and you want that your classmates give you advice about what to do. But a simple a scenario, okay? Okay, okay, no problem. Uh, I don't have money and I want to change my car. What I should, what I should to do? Okay, what I should do? Okay, guys, advise him. You should take a credit. You should take a credit. Okay. What else? Herman, Hermes, Brescia, Italia. I don't know. You, you should call the mechanic. You should call the mechanic. Okay. Okay. What else? Caesar. Okay. You should need a listen car. What? Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. You should a listen car. Okay. What else? You should buy new cars. That's amazing, but he doesn't have a lot of money. So that's a big problem. That's why he needs a credit for Wilfredo, right? What else? What else? You should. You should uh, the mm -hmm. what, what is that? The thing that he shouldn't do. He shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't um, drive. You shouldn't drive. Yeah. Well, yes, because he can't. He can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> what else? Should I rob a bank? <laughs> <laughs> what else? Linda, Francisco, Georgie, Erica, Alexandra, Herbert. Uh huh. You shouldn't a new car, uh, but the men don't have money. Yeah. Exactly. That's a big <laughs> it's problem. A good mm hmm. <laughs> It's a good buy. You sure start earning or saving money, right? You should mm -hmm. start extra time. Uh -huh. you, you should work extra time. Okay. Okay. Overtime. Overtime. <laughs> but, the, but the problem is that this man has a life. He has a family. He has a friends, a pet. So can you imagine we'll be 24-7 at work? That's amazing. No way. No. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Tell me, guys. Uh, should Marlon um buy a new car? No. Should Marlon buy a new car? Why not? A used car. Okay. Can he buy a new car? New car. It's a very expensive car. Exactly. No, he can't. Because he doesn't have money. Very good. Because he mm -hmm. don't have a money. He doesn't have. He doesn't have a money. He doesn't have a money. Exactly. Very good job, guys. Let me let me refresh something. When you use, for example, modal verbs like can or should, uh, normally in a regular way, when we're talking about third person, for example, uh, we put the verb, the main verb, in a third person way. Is that correct? We said, he, she looks, he uses, he speaks, etc. right? That is normally. But when we use modal verbs, guys, we do not put the S. Okay? Okay. Not okay. only if you are using modal verb, like an example, can or should. And if you're using third person, you do not put it in third person, okay? You put it in a simple, in a simple form. Should she use? Should she buy? Should he speak? No, should he speaks? No. Should he speak? Should she pay? Okay, you see? The verb pay, speak, use, which verb you would like to use, it has to be in the simple present form. But only in these cases, okay? Only when you're using modal verbs. If you're going to use any other type of verbs, follow the rules, okay? That is really important okay. to mention. I have to let okay. you know that. Okay, very good. Uh, do you have any doubts, any questions about how can we use can and should 
as a question, as a negative way, and as a positive way? Any no. question? You have to do it. Yes, Maria. Maria, Caesar. No question. Are you sure? Yes, Carlitos. Can I can practice or can I? You're making a question. I, I, can I? Can I practice? Yes, you can. <laughs> Definitely. Yes, Only you practice. can. Only practice. Can you practice with Georgie? Yes. Yes, I can. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you should practice with Georgie, right? Sure. <laughs> you shouldn't practice alone. You see? You should practice with Georgie. You see? I, I use the three. Can, could, no, could, no. Should, shouldn't, and should ask a question. Yeah? Very good. Teacher. Yes, a student. I'm just teasing you. Go ahead. Um. Yes, Wilfred. <laughs> uh, one, one question. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, when we use a uh, uh, word may, ah, we are not going to see that yet. No, <laughs> may and might that is another model verb. My, mm -hmm. yes, my, yes, it is I asking might. for permission, okay, mm -hmm. but not giving okay. like an order. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's a different, it's similar, but it's not the same. Okay. So that's why today I focus on two verbs, two model verbs, can and should. Mm -hmm. There are more okay. model verbs. We have, for yeah. example, could, we had would, we have my, may, etc. And those are from different purposes. Let me give you an example. For example, if you would like to make a request, you can use can, could, and would, the three of them. But for example, can is the most informal and would is the most formal. But you use the three of them with people that you know, like classmates, like family, like coworkers, etc. But if, for example, you would like to ask a request to somebody that is the first time that you see, you can use would or you can use a different expression that is called, would you mind? Would you mind? And in that way, if you use would you mind, you need to use the verb in the ing form. Okay? For example, the first time that I, that I see you, Wilfredo, and I, and I need to ask you, eh, would you like a cup of coffee? You see? It, it, I'm making a request, but it's a polite way. But if I want to ask you the same question, but with using would you mind? Would you mind uh, if, if I bring in you a cup of coffee? You see? That is more polite, okay. más educado. Okay? No mm -hmm. Okay. The okay. standard, ¿quién es el que es más así como, hey, mira, puedes hacer esto? <laughs> Mira, de bicho. Barrio. Yeah, de barrio. Hey, mira, brother. Sí, man. Can you? Could es, sí. mira, puedes hacer esto. Y would es, podría usted, would you? Y would you mind es, le importaría si? You see? Vale, así como, más sophisticated. Rich and life. Exactly. <laughs> like, would you mind eh, open the door for me, gentlemen? Yeah. Would you mind opening the door for me, Wilfredo? I can't because I have a lot of bags. You see? Would you mind? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Or Georgina le podría decir a Carlitos, Carlitos, or honey, I don't know how you, or darling, I don't know, right? Uh, would you, oof, would you mind giving me a kiss, darling? Uh -huh. I don't know, right? It could be. No, venga, se para acá. No, wait, no, wait, no, that's good. <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> okay, I give you just an example, okay, to make you fun and laugh. <laughs> All okay, right, okay. guys. So, you know what? One hour passed really fast. And you cannot imagine. Ooh, I didn't feel it. I know. <laughs> Did you? Did you feel it? Did you feel the hour or no? No, right? No, no, Especially no, because no. the teacher is a really crazy one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All righty. So, what I'm going to do right now, guys, I'm going to send you like uh, extra material 
just for you to practice the, how you can use can, how you can use should in a positive and in a negative way, okay? That will help you a lot. And also I think I'm going to send you like a, a brief explanation of those, but at the same time, a link that you will be able to do like a little test. So you can evaluate yourself. And if the first time was wrong, you can do it another time and another time until you prove it and you get used to it, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, it was nice to see you. Hey, hi, girl, how are you? Oh my God, I was about to show you my pet, but he disappeared. Hey, Chestnut, come here. Come on, come back. Hey. Oh my God. Come on, Jess. I want to show you my pet. Jess, come on here. Come on, boy. There you go. Come on. I show you my pet. Choose. Okay. There you go. Hey. Hi, boys and girls. How are you? Nice to meet you. I just speak English as well. Oh my God. He is only eight months. Oh my God. Yes, his name is Chestnut. It's a baby. It's pretty. Yeah, it's a baby. It's my baby. Okay, guys. So it was nice to have you here. Uh, hugs. Hi, baby. Oh, there's a beautiful it's girl. Here. She looks like you, actually. Mm. Oh, exactly like the daddy, right? Okay. So hugs <laughs> and kisses, guys. Chair. See you tomorrow, okay? Yes. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.